How do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. <laughs> right folks, what we got for you today? Ooh, <coughs> I think what I'm gonna do is do two videos. I'm off on my way out somewhere, so I'm gonna do one on the way. And then when I've done what I've got to do, on the way back I'm going to do another one because I need to stop and uh, read something to you. <coughs> now, excuse the cough. Now, uh, what's developed? Uh, well, first of all, I'll tell you one question I've, I've asked all along, all along. How did the information pass down through the ages, basically? You think of uh, the hippies were telling us it in the, in the 60s. Um, how did the information stay? Where did, why didn't it disappear? Why didn't it go away? How did anybody share this? There was no internet. Could they have just done it by telephone and, and this sort of thing? These were the questions. Well, recent events have actually landed me right in the middle of what I believe to be the original truth movement. And I now have my answers because I'm actually actively in the middle of it. <laughs> Um, but anyway, like I say, I'm going to leave that one for the next video because I want to read some things. Um, but for this one, I need to uh, to try and get across, and I've, I'm, I'm not trying to think of what to say, I'm trying to think of how to say it, because it's thoughts in the head and where I've come to in my own truths and my own realisations over the past months. And now those in wonky world, uh, Facebook group, you'll notice I'm more posting jokes than truths lately, uh, and I'm leaving the truths to everybody else. And we can see what's happening. Wonky World's about to get deleted by Facebook, and we've got the backup ready, but uh, but it will be because it's an agenda. They're trying to formulate uh, everybody's opinions. Don't matter what's true or or false, it's about formulating the correct opinion. So. The realisation I've come to, and I think a lot of realising this with me, um, is uh, everything, literally everything is bullshit. Now I'm not saying literally everything within the truth movement is a lie, they have to use some truths, but I think most of it actually is. Now what we've got to think of is the technologies of today and what they've got at their hands are not at our level, not what we know about, the technologies that we don't know about, that we've got half an idea of and this is what we're going against. Now they can make video, photos of anybody, anything or likenesses of or likenesses of nobody at all. A computer can generate now. Um, faces, people, the artificial intelligence, the, the quantum computing, it can, it can absolutely generate entire fucking scenarios and you would not tell that that isn't a real person, you wouldn't fucking tell it's not real. Um, but it's just fucking CGI or, or the, equi or, no, I wouldn't say equivalent, the, the evolution of. So basically we have got to accept we cannot trust one damn thing that we see. And over and over again, we find ourselves seeing something, reacting something, and, and finding out later it was a load of bollocks. But we saw it, didn't we, with our own eyes, but on a fucking screen, Hollywood production style, with Hollywood style script writers. This game goes far deeper than we're even comprehending. We, the truth movement, are used in our entirety. Our opinions are formulated. The best way to control your opposition is to own it. And I promise you, we are acting as controlled opposition. I promise you this. The shit we're posting with no evidence other than that which this screen told us. No matter how compelling it is, Hollywood style script writers, the very best of, could you imagine Stephen King writing your life? Just maybe he's got an input. Just maybe. I don't know. I don't know who's writing this shit, but I know it's being written. We're heading absolutely into this new control system, the new world order. And I mean, the very word makes some people laugh. 
but it is on websites but it could be because again it's on this screen but the one reality that we do know is they're controlling us they need to control us they're going to continue to control us so the new world order as they have explained it to us kind of makes the most sense don't it because they have told us and we can see it happening but as we're watching the new world order come in and all the things that it brings with it and we ain't even started yet i promise you as far as the ladder's concerned we're on run fucking one and people people are shitting themselves and their lives are falling to part at this fucking level <laughs> nothing yet but as we know that's happening we're allowing them to distract us with this paedophilia and uh, and the satanic cults and I can't tell you it's not happening but I can tell you there's more evidence in fact to it not happening than there is to it happening because we're not seeing evidence we're not seeing evidence at all we're seeing something that could possibly be CGI or the ilk of something that's been generated to be the biggest absolute worst thing in the world so it would take our absolute minds while they bring the new world order in now i remember last year and maybe other people will remember it on my last youtube video i remember saying it ever so plainly didn't realize the depths of it but i remember saying it in absolute we will never see it coming they will have to and they must bring something in so big that it blows our fucking minds away because we've got to fall for something that we know is coming I remember saying it we know it's coming how could they possibly bring it in when, they kn when we know it's coming by bringing in something that is so all encompassing that we'll let it in we will welcome it in and that's exactly what we're doing now and they're only at stage fucking one I guarantee you they're only at stage one in this and we're letting it in we're letting ourselves be distracted all over Facebook all you've got and when you when you analyze it all you have got are these huge things that totally pull you away from the fact that we're about to hand over total fucking total life our total lives to these parasites all of our rights all of them every fucking one of them there will be no rights left there will be compliance only and we're doing this because we're jumping up and down about paedophiles fucking known actors presidents and prime ministers when we know damn well this goes from much higher than them the world is run from much higher than them. So why are we concentrating all our energies at that level? We know it's disgusting, of course, and if they're raping children, fucking terrible. But the Epsteins of the world get caught and then you see that they die and you can clearly see by the photos it's just not them. So you know he didn't fucking die. He's not in a prison somewhere, he's an actor. Did it ever fucking happen? What evidence have we got that it ever happened? Because we're getting told they hit these fucking islands, but there's no children. These hundreds and thousands of children all around the world, and then we get told all this bollocks about children being saved from underground fucking dumbs. Fucking dumb, dumb, think about it. Think of the very word they're using on you. Where are these children? You know for fucking fact, if they fucking find one weed plant in your house, there's a copper there with a photo of it proudly showing you what we've done to save the world. They're pulling hundreds of thousands of children out of underground bases that have been bred for breeding and raping. Seriously? Come on. Come on no evidence whatsoever other than a load of fucking pictures and yes some of them are fucking shocking they're absolute disgusting 
but in this day and age we cannot tell there is no way for us to know that every single one of those disgusting perverted child paedophilia photos that keep popping up every now and again aren't fake there's no way to know that there's no way to know they're not being generated to perpetrate the biggest biggest fucking fraud ever known to man which is not a fucking fake virus that's just that much of what's going on it's the total enslavement of mankind the absolute control mechanism that they've required the breakdown of the current system the fi the <laughs> fractional fine the fractional banking system taking money and turn it into 10 times more on paper and then fucking lending it you and then getting you to work fucking hard to give it back to create the debts that fucking actual money actually fucking stands on now they removed the gold standard in 1931 was it from money it was worth nothing from then so what is it backed on it's backed on your debt it's what backed on your production of your sweat equity what they can get you to borrow or to get in debt to and then pay them back from the work you do so you don't have anything that's just the control that isn't the fucking that isn't what's going on that's just how they are controlling you but they are absolutely enslaving you the monetary system had to collapse anyway because on paper it hasn't even worked for a long long time people say how can we be in debt well that's because that's how you can be in debt because they're 10 times everything and they pretend that you're paying them something back when you're actually not they haven't loaned you anything in the first place as much as you think yeah i've got 10 grand in my hand here you've just created that with your signature and if you don't understand that Ask me, talk to me, if, if it's requested enough, I'll do a video on it and explain the fucker. But the reality is, there's so much you do need to know, but it is how they are doing it. What is really important, and it is the only thing important, we are at the minute being absolutely enslaved. And it is possibly our eternal fucking soul that's getting enslaved through technologies. But in this day and age, it could all be fucking bollocks and it could all just be about our consent get us into them chips and once we're in the chips we're in the system we know for a fact the chips do exist they're actually implanting them in people we know where biometrics has gone we thought it was all clever when it was just putting a thumbprint on a computer to open it up and uh, and then it turned to putting a thumbprint on the on the telephone to prove to the CIA that it was us logging in <laughs> I say the CIA, all the alphabet soups, they're not the be all and end all, they're just agents of the rulers of the world. It's just how they fucking know everything that we do, how they're in our every lives. They're infiltrated with these very fucking devices that sit at side of us, even next to our beds. They're listening to us making love, they're listening to us choosing what we're having to eat, they're listening to our problems, our woes, our fears, our insecurities. AI has got it all, it's got a total psychological profile of every single one of us that have got any device whatso fucking ever. It is total control of mankind. That is the only issue here and anything else is taking you off the total control of mankind. And at the minute, taking us off it at this very, very valuable stage in the implementation of of that said control and the total uh, enslavement uh, actually stepping up a gear and and coming in for the final blows this is it this is the time when we've got to actually wake up but uh, but not to the riots not to anything and i don't believe for one minute it's, it can possibly happen because the realizations i may be rambling a bit here because my mind is still making sense of uh, of what i've done because i've never vocalized it to this degree uh, it's uh, only the recent months I'm realising it, but uh, the reality is, you know, the cold old reality is, it's just all fucking fake. Theatre for our minds, I've been saying it for quite a while and, and the more I say it, the more I'm realising and it, it's took a couple of months of saying it to realize the depths i'm actually meaning it and i was saying literally everything is fake literally everything the world is a stage it is in absolute and and i do see 
this is exactly how they've managed to section folks like us over the years by believing nothing is fucking real and just think how mad that sounds but I assure everybody I'm of sound mind um, the world <coughs> excuse me the world's wonky and our minds are being played with to make us sound absolutely fucking insane but the fact is politics is fake provable provable known liars one after the other and you can go into just about every part of politics right down to their acts and statutes and prove it's all fake evidenced with uh, case law you've got the shit people are believing for covid well i think anybody with five minutes can evidence that's fake i created a file and i've been banging evidence for it being faking for quite a while and uh, i can prove it's fake um, whether whether the world can wake up to it or not is another matter. So what, what I'm trying to say is when they, they look at the whole picture and say, oh, you're fucking crazy, you can take every one aspect that, that tells them you're crazy and break it down to proving that, that the official narrative is false. Can't always say you can prove what's right, but the emphasis on proving what's right to prove that something is wrong is false in the first place. So many people cannot accept that something is wrong until you've shown them the evidence of what is right. Even though you show them the evidence of what is wrong, what they are, what they are being told, what the, the mainstream is telling them, you can prove in an instant it's wrong. The George Floyd one, for instance, let me just give you an instance. The kneeling on his neck, two videos, one shows him level with the car just a couple of inches sticking out the next one his head's all the way out it was an uncut video apparently and at no point does he get moved or move so two different videos show him incomplete in, in a totally different area with at least a foot difference no perspective angle on this distance just distance now that proved to us that the video was was a lie that what the george sorry i'm babbling again the george uh the George fraud <laughs> the George fraud was indeed a fraud because it was evidence there it was two different videos it couldn't have died twice so uh, nobody really knew what was the real truth and we still probably don't to this day we know it was an actor we know everybody involved was an actor we knew they knew all they all knew each other and were friends and um, we know it's an agenda that's all we need to know the reality is each aspect that they show us that we're disgusted about if we put enough time and intent into it we can absolutely prove it is either a lie or we can prove it cannot be taken as absolute truth that I guarantee I guarantee since I started realizing I'm looking at many situations in, in a totally different angle now and I'm trying to prove to myself that it's true you can't do it with any of it None of it. Nothing. You can convince yourself, but you can't prove it. So, why? Why? I mean, there are things that you can prove in absolute. Obviously, I can't say you can't prove literally anything. But I'm talking about the agendas that they feed us, the narratives that they feed us. It's absolute. You can't prove anything's true. So much of what we talk about must be true because they can't create a good enough lie without some truths quite a lot of truths but I no, no longer believe it's 80% true I used to think it was 80% true 20% lie now I'm thinking that's kind of turned on its head 20% truth I wouldn't even say 80% a lie I would say 20% true 20% lies and a good 60% total fucking made up theatre think on it folks but anyway I'm gonna start uploading this video now I'm gonna tell you now just so you guys have an idea it's 1244 right now Google is slowing me down YouTube is slowing me down terribly so when I upload something it's taking hours one the other day took six hours that last video I did took six hours to upload sometimes it's a couple of hours so anyway look for yourself 12.44, I'm going to close this off and it will be uploaded 
immediately and when it gets there you'll see it and you'll know how long it takes and what they're doing to me but on the way back I'm going to make another video which is probably going to be in about half an hour three quarters of an hour I'm not far off um, I'm gonna make another video and then uh, I'm gonna read some stuff to you and this is what I believe is the original truth movement and it's quite bizarre absolutely bizarre not what I thought it would be at all uh, those that have watched my sister Mary the nun meeting and this is where it's come from now I'm just getting random calls regularly from people uh, and it is absolutely bizarre what I'm getting I'll explain it <laughs> catch you in the next video look after yourself it's 12 45 <laughs>